he was unarmed and he was he was going to graduate that morning. Zhuyan Lee remembers the shock hitting her family. Last June, a detective told them her nephew, Tommy Lee, had run at some homeowners with a sharp object yelling irrationally. When police arrived, he did the same. And said that Tommy was shot because he was attacking the police with a knife. We couldn't believe it. That's not Tommy. You, we told the detective that he was mistaken for, you know, somebody else. That's not Tommy. But that's what the King County Sheriff's Office told reporters at the scene and in their press release on the incident, titled Deputy Shoots Man Claiming to be the Creator. It said the man was holding a knife or some sort of sharp object in his hand. And they tried to taser, and, and obviously that didn't work. So um, they want to be safe. They want everybody else to be safe. And, and unfortunately, that was uh, what our officer felt was the, the option he had left. But this is what Tommy Lee was holding, a ballpoint pen. There's never been a retraction by the sheriff's office. They eventually said, well, maybe he had a pointy object. And uh, the pen does qualify as a pointy object. But there's a question whether that was Tommy's pen or not, whether he had anything in his hand. Attorney Jeff Campiche also points out that the autopsy shows the 20-year-old was shot in the back, even though the sheriff's office claimed he was advancing toward police. Two deputies fired tasers, which had no effect. One fired his gun. This is an important Today, day. the family filed this federal lawsuit accusing the sheriff's office, the county, and the deputy who shot Lee of wrongful death, negligence, and infliction of emotional distress. The lies that the sheriff's department had given us it's, it's just very upsetting. The county declined to comment We're on the lawsuit. <laughs> Lee's grandmother said she misses him every day and wants justice so he can rest in peace. In Seattle, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.